Hey, my name is Dr. Shell. Welcome to Dr. Test Prep on YouTube or drtestprep.com. I'm so thankful that you're here and you care about your future. Let's take a look at um, episode three. So in this series, I am pulling different questions that I found on Facebook, Instagram, etc., And I am showing you how to do them most of the time with the decimals calculator, but I could not resist this question because you will definitely see one of these questions. And if you understand how to use the reference sheet, you're going to be a beast. Okay, so let's take a look here. It says in the figure above, O is the center of a circle. So we see that O is at the origin of in the XY plane. The measure of angle AOB is pi over six radians. If the coordinate, um, if the X coordinate is two radical three, what is the Y coordinate and what is the radius? So what I often tell my students to do is kind of forget that we're on a circle and just draw the triangle. So we've got it like this. Here's A, O, B, and here's my triangle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just draw that triangle right here. Now it says that the X coordinate is 2 radical 3. So that means right here would be 2 radical 3. And because it's at the origin, like the distance is also 2 radical 3 because you know, two radical three right here minus zero is two radical three. So let's take a look and see why did they tell us pi over six? Well, the easiest way that I ask my students to do this is to just take pi, like the radians, and switch it to degrees. And the way that you do it is really easy. Pi is just 180 degrees when we're talking about circles. So 180 divided by six means we have 30 degrees. And look how convenient. That's what I have right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that reference um, sheet triangle and we're going to transcribe it here. So here's 30 degrees. Here's my 30 degrees from what I had done pi over 6, right, for angle AOB. Then we have here this says x radical 3. This just says plane x and this says 2x. Well, the only information I have is right here. And how wonderful that the SAT College Board made these match perfectly. Like we can see right away that X equals two. So if X equals two in my picture, then I just use the reference sheet to help me move around. So here, what's this measure? Well, X equals two. What's this measure? Two times two is four. So it says if the X coordinate is two radical three, so this point right here is two radical three, what's my Y coordinate? Well, we just figured it out. Two. My Y coordinate is two. So this point, point A, would be two radical three over two radical three up two. What is the radius? Well, the radius is just the hypotenuse, and we figured it out that the radius is four. It's that simple, okay? So if you need more practice, just go into Google and type in special right triangle problems and it'll probably be the same level of difficulty because it's really just understanding what special right triangles are. Now, I will tell you that advanced problems will probably have it like over in a different quadrant. So let's pretend that it was reflected in this quadrant. So what they would have told you is instead of telling you that the X coordinate is two radical three, they probably would have told you the X coordinate is negative two radical three. In which case, you wouldn't just substitute negative two in here because we can see that this is positive, Y values are positive. So really the positive and negative, and this wouldn't be negative two times two for negative four because you can't have a radius that's four or that's negative because it wouldn't exist. So the way that they would up the difficulty is once you use the special right triangle reference sheets for either 30, 60, 90 or 45, 45, 90, you would have to interpret, are they positive or are they negative? All right, this is Dr. Shell. Like, subscribe, tell your friends. You got this. Bye guys.